In this video, I'm going to start setting up the navigation drawer for the app. So this, this navigation drawer here, it's not going to be anything special. It's not going to be like a header or anything like that. Just kind of a bare bones, basic navigation drawer. And just kind of so you know ahead of time, I'm not going to finish setting up the navigation. So like you won't be able to navigate to different fragments by the end of this video. That's going to be done by the end of the next video when I set up the navigation components library. So first of all, to when you create a navigation drawer, the first kind of step is I need to create a, a menu for the navigation. So I'm going to go into the menu directory here and I'm going to right click, go to new menu resource file. And this is going to be called drawer view. And inside drawer view, I'm going to add a couple of uh, menu items. So the first is uh, I'm going to create a menu group. Uh, it's going to get a checkable behavior of single. Next, I'm going to close that, that attribute off and I'm going to create an item. So item, uh, it's going to have an ID of nav profile because that's going to be responsible for navigating to the profile. And the next attribute is going to be the title. So title, and this is going to, I already added this to the strings file earlier in this course. So string slash profile. And then I'm going to close that off. Now the next item is going to be for the posts. So I can literally just copy this, paste it below, and this is going to be nav posts because we're using posts fragment. And this is also a string that I've already added to the strings file, so string posts. So we have the, uh, the profile and we have the posts. Those are the two... Uh, kind of menu items in the menu. And this is a very basic drawer. Like I said, there's a single group, just two items in it, no header, just very, very, very basic. Next, I'm going to go into main activity or activity main and uh, refactor this layout to include a navigation drawer or sorry, a drawer layout, a navigation view, all that stuff that we need in here. And because this course is a dagger course, it's not focused on navigation and things like that. I'm just going to be copying and pasting this to save some time. So go to the source code for the course, go to the main branch or the branch for this video, go to the layout folder, go to activity main, and you can just copy this entire thing. Uh, no need for me to sit here and type this out on video. I'll go through it quickly for those of you who are watching who aren't watching the dagger course, but I expect that most of you are watching the dagger course. So we have, uh, we have, I'll uncomment this. So we have the drawer layout. That's kind of the main thing, the main, uh, the parent of the layout. Its ID is drawer layout. We have a frame layout that we're going to be using to test the fragments. I have a relative layout with a progress bar. So there's a progress bar in the middle of the view. It's centered with uh, center in parent equals to true. And then we have the navigation view at the very bottom. So this has a drawer, an, or sorry, it's referencing the menu or sorry, it's referencing the drawer that we just created, the drawer menu, drawer view. And uh, that's how it knows what to look like, basically. So we have the profile and we have the posts. That's handled with the navigation view. So uh, drawer layout, and this one is named nav view. Now we're gonna go into main activity and uh, kind of set up some things in there. Like I said, we're not gonna finish everything in this video, but we're gonna kind of get started with setting all of this up. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm going to implement an on navigation item selected listener. I wanna make sure that I get the right one. I wanna get the one, you can see the import over here. So Android uh, material navigation or Android uh, bottom navigation. We want the material navigation one. So I'm getting that interface. I'm gonna click Alt Enter, go to implement methods, inserting the on navigation item selected method. And before I write anything inside this method, I'm gonna add a couple of, uh, I'm gonna add the drawer layout and the navigation view to, to, the, uh, to the activity. So drawer layout, I'll call it drawer layout and private navigation view, uh, navigation view. And now I'm gonna attach those to their IDs. So drawer layout equals find view by ID, r .id dot drawer layout. And navigation view is find view by ID, r .id dot, I think it was nav view is what we named it. Now I'm gonna come down into our on navigation item selected listener, and I'm going to write a switch statement for handling what happens when the menu items are clicked. So menu get menu item ID, and uh, we have two cases. The first case is going to be r.id.nav profile, and just break that. And the second case is going to be r.id.nav, it was nav posts, and then just break that one. Uh, then at the bottom, I want to, before we before I return, I want to do menu item 
dot set checked to true. That will set that will highlight the one that is selected from the drawer. And then I want to do drawer layout close drawer gravity compat dot start because we want the drawer to come whoops to come in from the left side of the screen. So when we click on one of these, the drawer closes to the left side of the screen. That's why I'm saying gravity start and I need to close that drawer. And I want to uh, return true so that the click is consumed at the end of this. So I'm not gonna write any logic in here yet for navigating. Um, I'm gonna kind of just leave it as it is for right now because we're gonna continue working on this in the next video.